It is Monday the 1st. Oh yeah, it's April Fool's Day. And I just got to see Steven over here at a play by Peter Vack. And, um... Yeah, well... Um, but tell me about the play. Okay, yeah. so it's all good. This play was actually written by a young man named Chris, the crowd surfing twink, and Sweet Adeline, who are two young, up-and-coming, like... Basically what, what they do and what I participate in is kind of like DIY theater. So we make these like weird plays about our friend group and it's loosely like, it's almost like an event, like a happening, and it's also like a play. It's an experimental crossbreed of auto fiction with theater. Why we're possibly very bored, possibly wealthy people. And you get to see this these characters performing. And in this play, they were playing other each people, other. each other in the play. So you're seeing the people on stage playing their interpretations of the people that are playing interpretations of other characters. So it was a very interesting blend of artistic paths. And is there anything else you want to add to this before we end this? Um, I would say uh, if there are any people who watch this who go to the new school and shoot films, please cast me in your student films. Hit me up at yung underscore television. That is Stephen Laren, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-L-E-H-R-E-N. -E -E the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. Why playing the sweet out of line? Oh. This play was not so close to divine, but however, it was a fun night, a yeah. foolish night, and- a night of entertainment. A night of and entertainment, and even though this won't be in rhyme, because I don't have the time, any anti-clout stories last for months. Yeah. And Skylar- For real. Skylar has the camera woman. Skylar, use a uh, use a pseudonym when you write your article. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it's crazy. Time.